Hey, anybody out there? I see you. Good morning, third grade. Hi, guys. I missed you. I missed being able to teach you. Um, so I'm so excited to be able to kind of be back in our schedule. Hope you're ready for a good day. Um, it's going to be beautiful. So we're going to get all this done so we can get outside and enjoy the beautiful weather, the sunshine, all of that goodness. But I did want to start um, with our Bible time and we're going to go through um, a very important unit this this week um, that is our Easter unit because that's coming up this week. So I wanted to go through that. So we're going to skip ahead from where the, whatever pages you had probably finished and go through this. So we're going to start with our verse, which is John chapter 20, verse 31. So I'll give you a chance to find it. John 20, 31. Not first John, second John, just the book of John, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Okay. So John 20, 31 says, but these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. I love this verse. First of all, it's what we believe as Christians. That's what we are setting our our hope and our assurance on that Jesus is Christ. He's the son of God. And that because we believe in him, we have life. So we don't need to worry and fear as so much of the world does. Um, I was just listening to that on the news this morning. Um, one of the anchors said, and that's one thing that we all have in common is just fear. We have fear right now. And I thought, you know, yes, there's fear because this is something that has never happened in, in most of our lifetimes where we've had to be afraid of different things of something that's beyond our control and beyond our reach and it's worldwide. But as Christians, we don't live in fear because we have the hope of Christ. And so believing we have life through his name, that just conquers so much fear because Jesus conquered death. And we're going to talk about that this week. And I'm so excited to be able to do that. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I want to go to our verse because there's so much I want to say. But um, I want to do our verse and then we will get to our lesson for today. So John 20, 31. Say it with me. John 20, 31. But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. John 20, 31. Good job. Um, let me have those that have um, older brothers or sisters. You say this with me. John 20, 31. But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. John 20, 31. Those with no siblings, say this with me. John 20, 31. But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. John 20, 31. If you have green on, that's a weird color, but maybe some of you have green on. If you do, you better stand and say it. John 20, 31. But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. John 20, 31. Those with blue on. That's a more normal color, I think. John 20, 31. But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. John 20, 31. Those with pink on. Some of you, or if you have unicorn onesie on. John 20, 31. But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. All right, here's one. Those that brushed your teeth. If you didn't, go do it now because we brush our teeth in the morning. Go do it before you say it. Okay, those that brushed your teeth, stand. 
John 20, 31. But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. John 20, 31. Very good job with your verse. And we'll go over that a little bit more this week to make sure that we know it. And then I'm going to have you turn, let me make sure I get the right one, page 256 in the back of your books, page 256. And it's a new song, so I just want you to listen, but it's a great song. We're going to just sing all the verses because we're going to learn it just really quickly this week. So it goes like this. Jesus Christ is risen today, alleluia, our triumphant holy day, alleluia, who did once upon the cross, alleluia, suffer to redeem our loss, alleluia. Good. Let's try the second verse. Hymns of praise, then let us sing, Alleluia, unto Christ our heavenly King, Alleluia, who endured the cross and grave, Alleluia, sinners to redeem and save, Alleluia. But the pains that he endured, Alleluia, our salvation have procured, Alleluia, now above the sky he's king, Alleluia, where the angels ever sing, Alleluia. Good. And I know I didn't do it like we normally do, where I sing it a couple times, you hum it. We didn't have time for that today, but I did want to kind of just teach it to you. And it's an easy melody, so just keep playing it so you can learn it. And by hopefully the end of this week, you'll be singing it with me. So I'm going to come back with our video for our story and our pages, just because I don't want this to be so super long. But that was your verse and your song. And now we'll come back with our story for today. All right. Our lesson for today. All right. See you in a little bit.